Okay, so we've done the basics of Weebly and now we're ready to get into some more advanced things. In this video we're going to talk about how to have your students add blogs to your pages, how to have them embed other digital tools, how to edit the HTML if you're interested, and also how to add a bunch of students at once. Alright, before I go in and edit the page, I want to show you this. If you click on more, this is where you find the delete the site button. Very important to know. Alright, let me go ahead and click on edit. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a blog to the page. And again, this is just like the students. They do the same exact thing. To do it, you're going to click on this Pages tab. And real simple, click on Add Blog. Give it a clever name if you want, or just name it Blog. I'm going to keep it like that. Hit Save Settings. When it takes you back to the site, you now see you've got a blog page here. I'm going to click on it. And it's real straightforward. It's just a regular old blog. Uh, titles and subject and content inside. It's got the archives, it, got, it has categories, and you can write something about yourself here in this box if you'd like. Let me show you how, how they would post. When a student goes to post, all they're going to do is edit the post, edit the content down here, and then click on publish live. Now what it does is it actually, um, for the students, it doesn't publish it live. It brings it into your moderation box. I just want to show you where that comes real quick. I'm going to close out of here without publishing. And I'm going to show you under my students. There is a button here, Moderate Blogs. As your kids start blogging on Weebly, all their comments are going to be posted in here. And this is where you can approve or delete comments as you go. Alright, so that's how you add blogs. Student blogs come in here and you can manage them really easily. Now I'm going to do some embedding. To embed, again, this is really straightforward. Kids pick this up really, really simply. It's real simple. All you got to do is take this custom HTML and you can drag that element anywhere on any page. When I drag it there, it gives you a box that says click to uh, get the custom HTML. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have some embed code. All that means is put the embed code in that box. So lots of other tools have embed codes. Animoto, which is the one I'm going to show you right now. Glogster, Prezi, um, Time Toast, a lot of the other things that I've shown you um, allow you to embed. Let me show you on Animoto. Here's my Animoto account. I'm just going to click on Actions and Embed. This gives you the code to copy. Click on Copy Code. Come back over to Weebly and right here I'm just going to paste it in. And then as soon as I click off, it will put it in there. So a real simple, easy way to embed your different tools into one spot. This is why Weebly makes a really cool tool for student portfolios. You know, if you keep a digital portfolio all year, they can embed their items here, they can talk about it, they can reflect on it, they can justify their choices. It's just a really cool place to keep everything all in one spot. All right, next thing I want to show you is a little bit about um, adding students, how to do them all at once. And the way you're going to do that, you clip over here to My Students, and you click on Add a Student, and you've got this option here, How to Add Multiple Students. If you're familiar with this, sometimes uh, it's, it takes a, it's a lot faster, rather than type out 40 students' names and passwords and all that, if you can upload a CSV file, which is an Excel file, a uh, spreadsheet file, then it can do it a lot faster. So I'm just going to click on How Should My Spreadsheet Look. You set up a spreadsheet just like this, column A, B, C, put the exact first name, last name, password in here, and then you can create just like that. You can even download the sample CSV file, which I find to be very helpful. Download the file, put it in exactly as you got it, uh, save it as a new name, and then all you have to do is upload it, and it will plop your kids right in there for you. So that's how you add multiple students. You get that CSV file, you fill it out exactly how it is, you save it to the desktop or something, and then you upload it in here, and then voila, you have all your students in. Alright, the last thing I want to show you, if you want to mess with it, if you're really an advanced user, you can mess with the HTML um, and the style sheets in here, if you're into that. The way to do that is to come over to Design, and you're going to see this Edit HTML button. It's going to give you a little warning, you know. Um, but this is how you get into the HTML and the style sheets and things like that. 
So if you're into HTML and you want to kind of tweak it a little bit and make it your own, you can do it right here. Get cancel out of there. All right, so those are some of the more advanced things in Weebly. I hope they're helpful to you. And uh, if you need any help, just email me and uh, let me know, and I'll help as much as I can. Mm -hmm.